Hey guys, uh, Adam Mears speaking here from Cod Culture on Facebook. Um, just here to talk to you today about a few of my favourite surface poppers and um, how we use them. Um, this one here is a, a, a 90mm uh, surface walker done by Cod Seeker. Um, been having a bit of a talk with the maker Michael Poulos of late and um, I've seen quite a, a few of, of his movies done, uh, Freshwater Fever and Working the Surface for Murray Cod. Um, he seems to have done very well. I've also featured in a couple of other movies that you, you guys may have already seen out there. Um, the Magic Hour um, and Walking the Gorges. Um, so they're very successful. Um, had a bit of a tinker with them and got a few myself. Um, absolutely beautiful finish on them. Um, good quality split rings and hooks which is uh, essential when Murray Cod fishing. Um, they have a great action. I've got a little video clip coming up for you shortly. Um, just working them in my pool, it's not cod season at the moment, so we're just test swing, swimming them in the backyard for now and until time comes. So um, I'll show you a few of the colours in the range that I've purchased myself um, and hopefully give you guys a bit of an idea on what I'm using this season. And um, fingers crossed you can have a bit of luck yourselves. So that's the Tropical Frog, uh, it's a 90mm walker, um, and I'll show you a couple of the other colours just now. Um, Also have the, the black and silver model here, um, still in the 90 mil. Um, as you can see, very qual uh, very good quality lures. Um, Michael doesn't sort of um, let you down in, in the quality of the hooks and split rings. As you can see, uh, they're roughly a 2-0 hook with a very heavy duty split ring at the front and back. Um, 2 mil polycarbonate bibs, um, very durable. You know, if you, you're going to be casting close to snags and rocks. Um, you know, you, you want some good quality hardware and um, I don't think you could pass these up um, as a top lure. Uh, just quickly, um, this is my favourite sort of colour in the range. Um, you'll see on my next few videos I'm a bit of a sucker for, for blue and white lures. Um, a lot of people like to go natural for cod or, or purples and blacks. Um, but I've been doing really well on the blue and white. Um, just a personal preference, um, but if you're fish fishing good holes and there's fish there, um, nine times out of ten they're going to come up and hit it. So, uh, good luck, guys. Get out there and give them a crack. Um, check out Cod Seeker. Um, look them up on the web or, or look up Working the Surface on on Facebook. So, um, give him a give him a bell. Um, I've also been very lucky this year um, to have been with my partner um, well over 12 months um, and we did some ordering of some lures through Peter Standing of uh, Honey Hole Lures. Um, he did me up a commemorative lure this year um, that my partner had got for me without me knowing. Um, this is it. This is a surface walker. Uh, it's around that 90 mil mark. I don't, don't know if you can see that there. Uh, he's custom painted that one for us. Um, absolutely stunning. Not allowed to swim this one. Um, but it looks absolutely fabulous in the pool room uh, and it's a little own custom box so uh, I'm very thankful for that uh, it's a top lure, great finish uh, I couldn't ask for a nicer bloke so check out Honey Hole Lures on Facebook uh, they won't let you down I've also had him do one up in one of my favourite colours um, the blue and white uh, as again as I showed you through Michael's lures um, Peter also done one for me in, in a blue and white mixture. Um, as you can see, the paint job on this is unreal. Um, very good quality. Uh, I've caught a couple of nice cod on these uh, so far in the different colour, um, which is that sort of black and tropical frog type pattern. Uh, it's done very well for me. Um, yeah, uh, the toe points in that are a little thinner uh, than what you see on the cod seekers. Um, but we haven't had a fish pull them or straighten them yet, so um, very good quality lure and another one to keep an eye out for uh, come December 1st in the start of that cod season. So um, yeah, another great option, double jointed, gives you something a bit different. Uh, sits nice and low on the water, bit, bit better hookup rate, uh, and we enjoy using these lures. So.
Another favourite for me over the past couple of seasons has been these Kingfisher Mantis surface poppers. Um, I generally get them in the smaller sizes, um, just to mix things up. Uh, I've got some of the larger lures uh, done by Codseeker uh, or Honeyhole lures. Um, so these are a little different. These are mainly for what I use uh, in some of the smaller systems around home. Uh, they're an 88 mil lure. Um, and the cup joint in them uh, is very concave in the back, um, gives a great bubble trail. Um, I was fortunate enough to get my first metre plus fish off the surface uh, last year on one of these lures. Um, yeah, uh, I couldn't rate them highly enough, um, but they are, they are a plastic injection mould where I've sort of gone more um, the, the traditional timber lures uh, these days. Um, but. For the price and value, they're, they're very, very good, very durable, uh, and a lot of guys are having success on them. So, uh, Kingfisher surface poppers, uh, they do come in a variety of sizes, but that's the, the 88 mil Mantis. That's just another colour, um, still, still in that Mantis, Mantis range, uh, they come in a variety of colours, so uh, don't be afraid to change it and mix it up. Uh, a lot of guys like dark colours, um, I'm using a lot of brighter colours, um, I don't think it matters, I think it's just personal preference and just perseverance. Um, perseverance really pays off when cod fishing, um, a lot of guys call them fish of a thousand casts, uh, but it's not that hard guys, um, it's a matter of just finding some good waterways uh, somewhere out of the way. Um, you know, the, the, the further you travel, um, the less likely you are to have fish water where people have already been. So um, stay on foot, keep moving, and, and you'll eventually run into fish. The last one I'm sh going to show you guys today is called the Jack or Mikey. Um, it got a bit of a, a claim to fame uh, recently in um, the Magic Hour. Um, I believe Jamie uses it uh, in a few segments um, to increase his hookup rate on a few few fish up in the in the high country. Um, they have a great movement. Um, they have more of a snake-like action um, than anything else. Uh, they will swim subsurface if fished a little bit quicker. Um, they dive down to around the 60 centimetre mark. Um, but if you fish them nice and slow, they produce a really good wake uh, and mimic much the same action as a skink. Um, or a small lizard falling into the water and um, done very well on them. Um, I'm not a fan of the three um, the three three trebles throughout the body. Uh, it can become a bit dangerous for yourself when removing hooks from the fish. Um, but if I ask everyone to crush the barbs, especially when using a, a lure like this, uh, you can save yourself a lot of pain um, for both you and the fish. So, uh, but yeah. Jackal lures, um, absolute quality finish, uh, like you expect with the rest of their range. Uh, but get out there and give them a go. Uh, December 1st is only a month and a half away. I know a lot of you guys are itching to get out there, much like myself. But um, best of luck this season. They're my favourite few top water lures. And um, I hope they work for you as well as they work for me.